you set yourself up for failure by compromising because you're emotionally handcuffed and you're compromising not because you care about the relationship or your well-being you compromise because you're afraid of her mm. can't be a man it doesn't matter how you feel you gotta have balls yeah man you gotta know what you want you don't go into marriage unsure you gotta you gotta know and so if you don't know that you're ready to be married i highly recommend not getting engaged that's one one small thing we can do to help improve this idea of marriage people getting engaged for silly reasons if you're not ready you're not ready so i gave her the ring and i said look we can go get married tomorrow we don't have to have a wedding we can have a wedding look whatever you want to do now obviously before you get before you ask that question you've had conversations with your partner about their views and would they be interested in that idea like you're not just gonna hopefully you're not just gonna ask somebody to get married without having a conversation first a few conversations so that they like anticipate that that y'all are on the same page right when you're having these conversations if that person is someone who's saying i would never get married without the wedding and the wedding has to take place and it's all about wedding don't do it do not do it no it's one of the biggest mistakes that people make people as in men black men specifically you set yourself up for failure by compromising because you're emotionally handcuffed and you're compromising not because you care about the relationship or your well-being you compromise because you're afraid of her mm. can't be a man it doesn't matter how you feel you gotta have balls. That's the other reason why a lot of marriages fail. Niggas out here getting married are no balls. You need to be able to have boundaries, establish you have your own code of rules and conduct and you aren't willing to compromise on certain things. You need to demonstrate that you can lead. That doesn't mean being agreeable. It doesn't. No. So that's where a lot of niggas go wrong. They be too agreeable because they're afraid of reactions. No. We don't care about reactions. Reactions don't deter me from being me, being the best version of myself. I am in control of me. Your reactions aren't going to control how I'm going to act. No. So upon giving the ring, I made it be clear and before even giving the ring, we discussed this idea and she was like, yeah, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need that. I'm like, hmm, we'll see. We'll see. So I gave her the ring in July. We got married in September on a border in Texas. Two Mexican witnesses who barely spoke English. These are the facts. Life is crazy, man. You just never know. You just never know. We got married on that border, and it was just her and I, two witnesses, the judge. And again, we had no wedding date on the calendar. We got engaged, and then upon getting engaged, we figured out the most efficient way to get married, not to have a wedding. And this is where I think people should change the approach. I highly recommend that you treat your wedding as a true celebration of your marriage, not as a prereq. I think if we just simply adjust the tradition, the expectation, we can do ourselves a lot of favors and we can uplift this idea of marriage while creating more successful unions. If we get married and then plan to have the wedding a year after we get married, I think that is a more productive way to build a union versus getting engaged, planning for a whole year, if not more, a wedding, not being married this whole time. It creates so much stress, so much pressure on that day. I've now had friends who have done both things. I've had friends who do the traditional approach in terms of getting engaged, planning a wedding, getting married essentially when you have the wedding. And those were some stressed out people, stressed, stressed out people. And I get it. I think I would be very stressed out if that was my approach as well. It's a huge decision. It's a lot to just 
It's a big risk. You don't want to start things off on the wrong foot. Unfortunately, that's what that wedding often does. It starts things off on the wrong foot. And so I think this idea of marriage, you know, the foundation in which you build is so key. The stronger and more deeply rooted your foundation, I think you can build a more longer lasting marriage. And so we got married on the border to Mexican witnesses. When we got married on the border, we started thinking about where we were going to have the wedding. I wasn't even living there at the time. We were staying apart, but that's when we started planning the wedding after we were married. And then because we're married, this idea of like approaching the wedding became more of a group task because now we're both kind of like, how much does this cost? This is us. Like we didn't get money from mommy and daddy for the wedding like that. We definitely had some contributions. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. But our parents did not pay for our wedding. They definitely gave us a little help. That is for sure. 